Okay, so it's the end of February or January 2021, and I got an update of my windows, and I'm having the same problem again. I followed my video to try to fix it, and when I got to this point in the video where there's this power management tab, there's no longer a power management tab. Um, I think I figured out how to get past that. Let's see. I haven't done it yet. Let's give it a try. All right, I'm going to pick up this video where that other one left off. So do the other step first. Um, I found this uh, Windows. I just searched Bluetooth power management. It came up with this. And this answer says that it's hidden in the uh, human interface device. So we're going to go down to Windows and right-click it. Go to Device Manager, and instead of going into the Bluetooth like we did on the last video, let's go into Human Interface and Bluetooth HID Device. Right-click it, Properties, and in fact, there is Power Management. Let's uncheck that box, hit OK. Um, I haven't done this yet. I don't know, but I'm going to look in this one, too. Oops, let's see. Properties, Power Management. I'm going to uncheck this one as well. I don't know why there's two of them. All right, now let's wait five seconds and see if my mouse freezes again. One, two, three, four, five. And it's frozen. Ugh. I'm going to reboot the computer and see, and see if that helps. Let me figure this out. Ugh. Oh, my God. Well, you're welcome, Dell and Microsoft. Some Yahoo in the Midwest had to fix your problem for you. Um, I went through, so a lot of these human interface devices have power management. That one does, that one. I don't know why they're all so many duplicates of it, but I went through, this is kind of the Cro-Magnon hit it with a club method. I went through all of these, um, and there's several that have, um, you know, power management tabs, and I just turned them all off. Um, and like this one here, I, I don't know, maybe I should turn those back on again until I unfix my problem. That would be the smart thing to do. But he, so I went through, so, so this one, the Intel one does, and then these 12 CHID device ones have it. None of these do. Um, I think all these, these have it. Yeah, all of these HID, PCI, mini driver for ISS, um, I turned all those off. None of those um, fixed the problem. So then I started going back, just started at the top and worked my way down. So my um, Dell XPS 13 has a, a, a fingerprint reader. And under that is these biometric devices and Goodex, Goodex fingerprint and go to properties and power management so so let me show you it's working right now so one two three four five and then i'm gonna grab the mouse and it starts working if i click this and hit okay let's try that again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and it's frozen, 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 moving, moving. I'm still moving the mouse around there. It starts to move. <clears throat> Let me go back. We'll right click this thing. Properties. <clears throat> Power management. Allow. So uncheck the allow computer to turn this off to save power. Hit OK. <clears throat> now, let's wait 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and if I grab this mouse like now, and it works, I, <laughs> I guess that's the problem. Okay, it's the next day. I'm just going back, and I'm I'm unchecking the things that I checked yesterday. So I I went back in and and like this twelve C H I D. I went into power management and I turned it back on, allow computer to turn off this device to save power. Because um, that 
and that hasn't caused my problems. So it was it was these two, these twelve C HID device, and then the Intel R, and then all these HID PCI mini drivers. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. So I just turned those back on. Let's see about this one though. Um, I'm going to leave that one off. Well, okay, just for sake of this video, let's see what happens if we check that one again. Let's see if that contributed to our problem or if it was just simply that um, fingerprint reader. Let's just try this here. Yep. Give it a few seconds and see if it freezes. Because that's Bluetooth, I kind of feel like it might. So let's give it a try here and go. Oh, not frozen. So again, all right, that wasn't it. Um, I guess in conclusion, uh, my problem, at least with this uh, Dell XPS 13, which is about a year old now, it was my fingerprint reader that was causing the problem this time. So take a look at those uh, to get this terribly frustrating problem fixed. Good luck. Bye-bye.